What is good, everybody? I am back, of course, with Austin. This is a uh, day, well, technically three for YouTube uh, in Texas. We're at Flying Armadillo, and it's kind of like this little, I feel like, private course almost, pay-to-play course. Um, just getting ready for the tournament. Hole so one, 305 feet, par three. Austin's going uh, forehand. I'm thinking about trying to show him a hyzer if I can get it there. I think the wind pushing left to right, though. I always love how different the videos online look compared to the course. Push down that hill quite a bit, huh? Hanging basket to start off on hole one. Austin's a really good shot with the forehand right there. I'm a bit further. Nice. Austin starting it off right with a birdie. Got it like that. Hole two, par three, says 310 from blue. So it come down. Yeah, it's not bad. The bird, Max. We got hole three here. Straight little, I feel like it's a little uh, Anheuser backhand with a putter or mid. 250 downhill, Austin has his uh, more understable putter in his hand, I think. A little high. Nice. That's the shot. Jump putt was really sketchy. Yeah. Very sketchy. Here's my second putter. I think this is definitely a shot I'm going to have to throw. Set me up for a good bird. Ooh, just a little high. There it is. Hole four, par three, 340 uphill, up and to the right again. You going really overstable? Yeah, I'm going big flex. I'm thinking if I throw anything too straight, it's going to dump too early. So I'm thinking if I could put it up over those trees, let it finish. Or stay super low and get a big skip. Well, I was about to say, well, that was very low, but it worked. I don't know if the elevation change got me. I thought I was lined up to go high, and that just... Yeah, wasn't high. <laughs> it worked. You got a little a bit lot, of it. There's a lot of wind that is it, pushing it down up and you're going up a hill. Yeah. Tailwind putt for his birdie. Oh, just If low. it doesn't hit the tree, it's in. <laughs> just so tight. Go in. Oh. Hole five, 360 feet. Austin says it's straight in front of us. Oh, I think it's in the middle there of all that. I hit the line I wanted to. Perfect. Got in there. Too. Nice shot. Real quick, just want to say. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Pulsing content like crazy right now. Getting ready for this championship for Austin and just learning all these courses. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Content coming all the time. Maybe they'll have some water in there for you on a tournament day. Hope so. <laughs> it's a mosquito net, but I'm not sure how well it works with the ribbon. <laughs> Purple yep. Mando. It's this tree, this bar, and this tree. Okay. To take out thumbers and tomahawks on this hole. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, you have quite the gap to hit. It's not too far. You can see the band. Up yeah, there. you can see the yellow band. But uh, the gap is not very nice looking. Because if that wasn't there... Yeah, day, you could definitely go over the top. All day I'd be going over the top. All right. Let's see what you got. You going over the trees? I don't know. I just 
just looking at that. What if he just went like this? That's kind of what I was looking at. Or even like the straight, that straight gap. Up throw on my lion. Yeah, that's flat. Little, just letting it finish. You got more room here. I'll just go for a straight shot, and then I'll have you. I mean, if you want to go high, just see what happens. Yeah. A lot of trees to kiss off, off of. I honestly think I if you could get something to stall, flip up through this gap, stall. Because you can't keep it on hyzer all the way. Got through. There. Yeah, I definitely like the over the top play for Austin. Way to bounce back. This course is very interesting to navigate. There's all these tiny little paths you kind of have to find for the next hole. Pretty cool. This is a lot different than Ohio disc golf. No ground play, all these rocks. This is completely different than the first two courses we played. It is, yeah. The first two courses were more like just your normal average disc golf. This is a this much different. Me of. It's how our trip to Michigan, how we went from dirt to sand to woods. I mean, it was just like every course you played was completely different. Pool seven is 360 feet up into the right. Can't really see the basket from where we are, but I assume a forehand. Light headwind, so you don't want to go too understable, but it doesn't look like it dumps that far right. Yeah. If he misses that, it's good. That is definitely the tree to beat. He thought he was on the ground. He's actually up in the tree. We're going to have to let one play through here soon. Yeah. Little right, but it'll be a putt. That'll work. Got through. <laughs> yeah. Not, not exactly what I had in mind, but it, it worked. Good putt. Scores are really cool. Like they've lined fairways with rocks. They've built built stone walls. I mean, overall, it's it's very unique. Yeah, it is like a little rock wall lined. It's, it's interesting. Like steps up for the pad and everything. Yeah, got a little step here. We're moving on to hole eight. It's a par four. First par four out here we've seen. 435 feet. Got to hit the initial gap and looks like it's pretty straight ahead from the T sign. Um, guess we'll find out when we get out there, huh? Um, all right. <laughs> Don't do that. Kind of scared him. Did Max get the little dude on the tree? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kind of scared to keep throwing that green right. All right, let's see if Max can get the gap, because I sure didn't want to. A few moments later. Those are bad shots. <laughs> he juiced it. So wait, was the basket your throw? Just threw to the completely wrong basket, not knowing. I won't penalize him too bad. Yeah. Just helping Austin out, you know. Getting flip up. Wow. That's got to sit. Check these things out. Carved out of the wood like screws and bolts into it. Freaking sweet. That's interesting. It's cool. Hole nine, par three, 395 feet. Tight little gap to start and then it opens up quite a bit. Flex, flex. I'm getting that thing to turn over. Your, rate, your strikes are so much more beefy than the strike I had. Well, I think it's weight. Mine are all max weights. You're probably throwing a 170. 171, 172. I think. You know, after your shot, I'll throw my lightweight one and see if it flexes like you're talking. It's a little high, but you got the flex that I was looking for. Nice shot. What, 71. 71. Let's see if this one stands up. Yeah. 
Didn't really. No. Good <laughs> shot. Much, it's a good spot. shot though. Yeah. Nice up. Nice up. Well guys, I'm sitting here editing this video and completely forgot to do an outro to the video, which means I definitely didn't do an intro to the back nine. So I guess you'll see me here again for the back nine. I'll try to upload that in a few days. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Me and Austin are definitely enjoying this Texas disc golf. I think it's a, uh, it's pretty cool to experience new courses and whatnot. So hope you guys are enjoying the content. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chasing Chains underscore on Instagram where I post it daily. And we'll see you guys for the back nine.